developing tonight a ticking time bomb. That's how lawyers describe the deputy who shot and killed Sonia Massey in Springfield last month. WGN's Shannon Halligan is here now. She tells us more on how they're pushing for legislation that they say could have prevented Massey's death. Yeah, a rally and memorial were held tonight in Springfield in honor of Sonia Massey. Her family and attorneys say that they were glaring red flags that were missed in the hiring of former Deputy Sean Grayson. They're urging new legislation that would fill the gaps at the local and national level. Relatives of 36-year-old Sonia Massey spoke out for the first time since Sangamon County Sheriff Jack Campbell announced his retirement. We are very pleased that the sheriff resigned, however, as a first step. But I personally feel that Sonia was failed by multiple systems and multiple people. The sheriff's resignation only came after an outcry from the community over the hiring of Deputy Sean Grayson. In July, Massey was shot and killed by Grayson while she ducked in her kitchen moments after being ordered by the deputy to drop a pot of boiling water. Grayson has since been fired and now faces charges for her murder. He entered not guilty pleas and has said he believed she intended deadly harm. He was a ticking time bomb. Attorneys representing the Massey family said red flags were missed in the hiring of Deputy Grayson. When you consider that Sean Grayson had two DUI convictions, if Sean Grayson wanted to visit Canada, if he wanted to visit the beautiful cities of Toronto or Montreal, he wouldn't be allowed to do so. He couldn't cross the border. Records show Grayson worked for six different law enforcement agencies in a four-year period. Now, the Massey family and lawyers are calling for amendments to the current Illinois Safety Act. That would include a national database for officers with prior misconduct and request a waiting period for officers changing departments to ensure that a full background check has been completed. I think if you're going to hire someone who constitutionally has the power to use deadly force on a tax-paying citizen, then they need to know everything about that police officer before he's hired, not after. They also want Congress to pass the George Floyd Justice in Policing Act. That's a bill that would increase the vetting of officers and requires bias training, something that can help bring justice for Sonia. We want to see your actions. Your actions speak louder than your words. County officials say they were aware of Grayson's DUIs. Those were part of the required background checks. However, they were not made aware of Grayson's previous terminations from other jobs. Live in the newsroom, Shannon Halligan, WGN News.